This is a climbing aloe and I've actually had it inside under grow lights for a long time. It was never meant to be inside under grow lights. I just forgot about it other than occasionally watering it, but you can see it's actually really, really underwatered as are a lot of my indoor succulents. But I found out that our tortoise loves to eat this. So I'm going to repot it so that hopefully it will grow a little bit faster and not be so underwater. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. All right. So I have just a nursery pot, a really large one that I'm going to plant this in because it doesn't really, well, I don't have a big fancy pot at the moment. And this has really good drainage in the bottom and it's much bigger than this. And I'm going to put bonsai jack soil in. So you can see I have some bonsai jack soil in here and it's got some pebbles and stuff mixed in just because it's some remnants. All right, but now here you can see, this is why this really, really needed to be repotted. It was just super root bound. There's not a lot of room for this plant to grow. And it is one that's pretty prolific. It will grow and produce new pups, but this is just too tight for it. So I'm just gonna kind of loosen up the roots here. And I am putting it in a pot that's quite a bit bigger than the plant itself, obviously bigger than the previous pot but mostly it's a pot that's bigger than the plant because I do want it to spread. I normally don't recommend upsizing quite this big, but since this one will be outside and it's about to be winter, so I'm planting this in the fall. So these are about to start actively growing outside where I live. So loosening it up and I think this will start to fill in the pot pretty quickly. And like I said, this is one that my tortoise will eat. And it looks like he's going to come join us for this activity. I don't know if you'll be able to see him very well. But, oh, there he is. It's very curious. Okay, so I don't totally want to rip these apart. But I did want to loosen up the roots because that will help them spread better. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more soil to lift this up. I don't like having the leaves under the rim of the pot. I like having them up above as much as I can. So just put this in. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then just gonna pour some more in here. Looks like I might need to go get some more soil. Yeah, might be about right. Nope, we'll need a little bit more. And I just want it to be sturdy enough that it'll stand up. Oh, and there's the drainage screen from that pot. All right, so I'm gonna go get a little bit more soil and be right back. All right, so um, I'm not gonna worry about top dressing this one because it's outside and I just, I don't care that much about it. Um, it's gonna probably be off in a corner of our yard where we can easily access it to feed tiny, but not somewhere that's gonna be super seen or visible. Hey, dude. All right, so now that is all filled in nicely. And for fun, we're going to let Tiny grab a little bite to eat. So we normally don't let him, well, he's not constantly roaming the yard, but when it's warm enough outside, we will let him. And he really really likes this aloe. So it'll be up off the ground enough that he won't be able to eat it on his own. We'll just have to feed it to him. But it's pretty fun. He doesn't eat all of our succulents, but he will eat some. We do have to be careful which ones we put out because some of them are poisonous. We do have an article on succulentsandsunshine.com about plants that are poisonous to animals like calanchoes or euphorbias. But aloes tend to be pretty safe for most animals. I don't know. I think they can be toxic to dogs and cats too. But tortoises love them. They're tiny. All right. I think we got to slow down there. We don't want to eat the whole thing. But that is how I repotted these. And like I said, I'm going to make sure it gets watered more frequently so that these leaves plump up. The cool thing about climbing aloe is as it gets taller, they will actually spill over the side and just create like a really long trail. So I'm excited to see 
how these do over the next few weeks. Like I said, we're getting into our active growing season, so they should get. With this aloe, these aloes can actually tolerate a lot of light. So it's gonna go in an area of my yard that gets really bright sunlight in the winter. And then in the summer, I'll actually move it to an area that gets direct sun for a good chunk of the day. It's hard to find succulents here that will actually tolerate the heat and the sun, but this climbing aloe should as long as I start acclimating it to that amount of light. So climbing aloe is a really unique one. It's really fun and I'm excited to see how it grows in my garden. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it with all of your succulent loving friends, and I will see you next time.